What's up? So I'm going to do a really, uh, I was going to say thorough just now, but it's not going to be that thorough. I'm going to do a quick but explanative way. What? I'm going to explain how I do. Boy, I, I might need to start this one over. Uh, I'm going to explain how I cut stuff on the router. Uh, I had a question um, from a buddy of mine about how to get shit done on the router. So I'm going to go over it a little bit. And hopefully I'm going to be able to give you guys a sort of like a glimpse, at least, uh, an idea of what I am doing with this router. And I make such a big deal out of it because it cuts really fast and really even, really equal. So I had a couple of templates done um, in polycarbonate. And I use these templates as the edge for a uh, flush trim bit on the router. And I basically just tape it down to a piece that I want to cut and then cut that off. But uh, I'll show you guys a little bit. I do a little bit of prep work just so that I can make it as easy as possible on myself. One of the things that I start to do is I trace the template onto the piece that I'm going to cut off. So in this case, it's a piece of 3 8 polycarbonate. And we're also going to do one millimeter carbon fiber. The carbon fiber is black, and I only have black markers. So what I did was just tape over the top of it, and that actually helps to um, keep the keep the facing of it looking really nice as well so you don't get scratches and stuff in it but then you can trace around it with the marker and you can actually see your cut lines and then what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to take it over to the saw uh the scroll saw and we are going to tear up a blade with this carbon fiber because this carbon fiber just destroys those 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 scroll saw blades um <laughs> I'll show you guys the before and after. It's pretty funny. But first, we're going to cut this out, and we're just going to do a rough cut around it. Nothing. We don't want to get too, cl too, too close to the line because then we're going to use this, and we're going to uh, tape it onto that anyway. So, um, yeah, we'll do that. All right, so first things first, we're going to take the big piece, and we're going to cut the, a little piece out. And again, these are quick cuts so you don't want to spend too much time doing it you don't need to get it too close just a rough, rough trim. there we go nice and cut <laughs> it's actually not really nice at all um, I got some burrs along the edge here so I'm just gonna pull those off and then yeah. All right. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to tilt that down a little bit, a little bit more. There you go. <coughs> so I'm going to take this off here, the paper, off that side. We're going to lay tape down on this side. Blue tape. like that. Tape the whole side. I'm gonna rub the tape on real good so it's got a lot of stickiness. And then just do a loose tear off the off the edging. Like that. Toss that. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to tape the template as well. Same thing. Tape. Tape. Get the template. Make sure the tape is nice and stuck to the template. And we're going to tear off the edges. Doesn't matter if it's perfect. The router can handle the tape too. <laughs> And what we're going to do is we're going to apply super glue. I like to put it on the template side, but you can put it on either side. 
The reason I like to put it on the template side is because I don't want uh, the template side is usually smaller, and I want to be able to do like a bird's eye. I, want, I like to be able to stand over the top of it and make sure that all the edges, that I'm not going over the edge. Because what you don't want is for something like that to happen, and then you end up cutting the wrong way. So you want it to be pretty close. And that's why we cut it big, because we know that the template will fit into that, into those lines. So you got to, this part, you got to be a little bit precise. So I'm going to go ahead and put some super glue. You can be pretty liberal with this. If you've taped it well, the super glue won't stick to anything you don't want it to stick to. Just like that. And then we're going to put it on. And when you put it on, so I've done this a whole bunch of times, so I have a really good idea. You want to just be able to go around the edge and make sure that there's a little bit of the rough cut sticking over all the edges. And then we're just going to press on it for a minute. Not a minute, but, you know, 10 seconds or 15 seconds just to make sure that it's nice and stuck. And then we can take it over to the router. All right. All right, guys. Pro tip. So your router bits... What you can do is you can get these little magnets. I buy these. They come like two for 99 cents at Harbor Freight. And you can stick them to the leg. Then stick your router bits. And that way you won't lose your bits. Or your uh, wrench for the router. <laughs> You're going to stick that in there. Tighten it down. I always unplug the router when I'm doing this. Always, every time. And then what we're gonna do, you want the little ball bearings at the top to come in contact with the uh, with the edge of your template. I want both ball bearings to touch, but what's more important is that the cutting portion of the router bit is just slightly higher than the part that I'm trying to cut. But I want those ball bearings both, there's two ball bearings on this bit and I want both of them to be on my template. So I'm gonna adjust it. I'll show you guys what I'm looking at here, actually. <laughs> so you can see that the height of the bearings is the same height as the template but the cutting edge is just slightly higher than the piece I'm trying to cut, which is on the bottom. And what that'll do is, as you roll it around, the bearings will stop the router from being able to cut any material that's underneath the template. So when you route it all out, you'll have a basically a new template. Okay guys, couple things, safety glasses, twice. I've had router bits break twice and two times I've had blowouts on the piece that I'm trying to cut. I was cutting stuff. I probably shouldn't have been cutting with it, but this router is insanely powerful and it is scary as hell. I also like to wear gloves um, just because if your finger touches the cutting portion of the router, it will cut that part of your finger off and you won't even know you cut it off until you're done with your piece because it is that powerful and that sharp. So just take the precautions. Glove up and safety glasses. <laughs> I turned it on and still haven't plugged it in. Plugged it now.
All right, let me show you what I got here before I uh, don't make any cuts off the camera. I'll show you what I got here. Just tilt you down a little more. Okay, so then I take just an old knife and I pry the two pieces apart. As you can see it's perfectly cut. Pry the two pieces apart with the edge of the knife being pushed toward the old template. So just take knife's pretty sharp. You just want to pry it nice and easy apart. And this is the new piece. So what we're going to do is just go around, take all of the tape off of there. You can see how fast that one too. Almost got to blow it off the beginning, but we saved it. <laughs> The tape is on it pretty good. Um, you may need like a scraper or something to get it off there, but the tape holds really well. And as long as you taped all the facing of it, you shouldn't have any parts where super glue touch the face. Awesome. We're actually going to glue that carbon fiber to the faces so it doesn't have to look perfect, but look at that. Perfectly cut. Awesome. I'm going to do the same thing with this carbon fiber. I forgot I was going to show you the difference between the before and after. So you can see the teeth on the, uh, on the saw. Can't really get a can't really see them that well, but I'll show, show you what they look like afterward. I like to go try to go fast with this too. This is only one millimeter thick, so it cuts quick, but the teeth get tore up, so the bit doesn't last very long. Show you guys the blade. Flip the camera around. You can see that portion from there to there is just destroyed. Ugh, the carbon fiber. I feel like it's important to show that too because when you are <clears throat> when you're making a custom frame and you want carbon a carbon fiber piece on the frame, you gotta understand that the maker's tools are getting destroyed. They're getting absolutely destroyed. That blade is no good. I can flip it upside down, maybe and get another cut out of it with the same carbon fiber, but that's it. It's done now. So I can replace the blade. It sucks. But at very least, I did get my two pieces. Let's put those on the router now. All right, so we're going to do exactly the same thing with this that we did with the blank piece. And we're going to tape it up. I have to get all the tape off of the template first. So these already have tape, so you won't need to retape them, which is a cool part. So we're going to use the side that I drew on. Tape the face.
And you do want to make sure that the entire face is taped and taped well so that your super glue doesn't get onto the face. The only reason that's bad is because it's going to super glue itself to whatever you're cutting. So, all right, super glue. Do, 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 do. Again, just a little bit. Nice and thin, we're going to put it over the top, and press. Okay, take it to the router. Big thing, we're going to set the depth that we want. We've got to go down even further because this carbon fiber is much thinner. And both of them, both bearings are touching stay hydrated So I'm just going to repeat this process ad infinitum. So I did have quite a bit of the tape come off there. I'm going to peel the rest off and then retape it. Actually, you know what? That side's fine, so I'm just going to leave it because I do need to uh, do need to glue that side. So So for gluing on carbon fiber to anything, whether it's to itself or to anything, it doesn't matter what, I really like to use super glue. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you guys. Might as well finish making this freaking slingshot here. I'm going to scuff this up a little bit on the face. So nice and scuffed. Take a look at that on both sides. And then I'm going to take that knife and I'm going to scuff the hell out of the face of this carbon fiber. And we're going to glue this face to face. So we're going to put a very generous amount of super glue. Put this on it just to keep the pressure. <clears throat> and then uh, throw this on top of that. This is filled with my uh, Descender cutoffs. And while we wait, I'm going to take the blue tape off of my template here. Okay. Yeah. Oof. Oh, yeah. And then we'll do the other side. Okay, so I got it glued up, both sides. I'm gonna put it in the vise for like, uh, I don't know, a good minute or two. 
just to clamp it down a little bit, and then uh, we'll we'll edge it. All right. So now I'm gonna change the router bit to the roundover bit. Unplug it. <laughs> The round over bit looks like that. And then you want to get the bearing close to the middle. It can be a little bit higher than the middle. This is pretty thin, so we're going to put it a little bit higher than the middle. <laughs> That is really nicely rounded over and you you heard it like keep cutting every time I flipped it because it wasn't quite even so um, yeah it's not perfectly centered but it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be um, it came out really nice so we're gonna go ahead and just go run with it and now it's time for sanding <laughs> 